Hey everybody, welcome to Be Cool or Be Podcast Out. I'm Al, my daughter Kayla here. Hello. How you guys doing? We're um, we're gonna make make a little video. Actually, it's the inaugural uh, video that we're doing for Knowledge Nerds. It's gonna be our little weekly show. Oh. <laughs> uh, it'll probably be like on the weekends. We'll I'll, we'll make a show. Uh, uh, Kayla and I will discuss various uh, uh, topics and just nerd out and you know things like that. But today. We're gonna bring, uh, we're gonna show what I got at Record Store Day yesterday, uh, Record Store Day uh, 420, uh, 2024. Um, Kayla didn't go with me though, but she's gonna help me show the records that I got yesterday. And um, and uh, I, I didn't go too crazy getting a lot of stuff. Uh, first of all, um, they didn't have the South Park uh, vinyl that I really wanted. South Park 25th. Uh, anniversary concert. Uh, being a Rush fan that I am, um, I really wanted to get it. Well, I love Primus too, and uh, but Getty Lee and Alex Lifeson were on there. But uh, it's not a RSD exclusive, so it's gonna get it's gonna get uh, released in the future. Probably not on blue vinyl. I think it was a Cali blue vinyl or whatever. So it was a record store day first, so it'll see a, it'll see a release after that. So. But anyway, um, we're gonna show off some other things that I got. Kayla, if you wanna grab the first one there. Mm-hmm. What do we got there? We got Corey Taylor. All right, now who's Corey Taylor? He is the lead singer of Slipknot. Slipknot, yeah, and my, and I know Kayla's been getting into Slipknot a few things here and there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, show it a little closer. Yeah, yeah there you go. go. Um, this is. Let's show the back here. That's the back. Now this is uh, CF, CMF. To CMF to B or not to B? Okay, that's that is, that is the uh, the the yeah, you can hold that again. That is the um, the title of this release. Actually, I picked this up for a friend of mine up in New Jersey. Um, he was looking for this, and I live down here in Florida now. We live down here in Florida, and um, he struck out up there. So I was at a uh, uh, it was a second record store there. I only went to two um, uh, yesterday here in the Tampa area, um, Sound Exchange and uh, Mojo Books. If you're in the Tampa area, I'm sure you're probably familiar with those two those two record stores. Um, you can put it here, Kayla, and kind of hold it if you want. That. And um, uh, so I went to those, and so when I went to the second one, uh, I was texting him, I'm like, hey, did you go to record store day? And he's like, ah, I struck on a the Corey Taylor, so there was one copy left there, and I'm like, do you want me to grab it for you? And he's like, yeah, so I'm going to be shipping it out to him uh, okay. tomorrow, or sometime this week. So uh, so this is Corey Taylor's release on Record Store Day, and it's on limited edition Candy Floss Vinyl. So uh, so that's for him. Uh, next one. Now, I got I picked this up because I know Kayla's a fan. <laughs> yeah. Now, who's that? Taylor Swift. So what's, what's, the, what's the title of her album? It the, is. The tortured. The tortured poets department. Yeah. So there was a lot of different variants of this one. Let me see that. So there was a lot. Of, there we go there. That's the back of it. Now she had a bunch of different variants of this. So I really didn't go crazy. I just I picked the white vinyl version. Uh, it has white vinyl, and it has a bonus track, the manuscript. Now, uh, what I'm kind of understanding, I think. All the variants have different bonus tracks, so it is a different bonus track for each different variant of the of the vinyl. But I wasn't gonna go crazy buying. I don't know if it's like five or six different variants or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I picked this up, and Kayla I know is a big fan, and I like Taylor Swift too. She has yeah. a lot of great stuff. I bought like one of those crazy. Apparently, <laughs> somebody cried to the the entire track, like the new songs and stuff. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. Like, so what Kayla's trying to say, she's not a uh, hardcore Swifty. Yeah, but, but she I'm has, still a fan of her. But we have seen her in concert. Yeah. She puts on a good show. She's great. So, so that's um, the second thing I picked up, uh, Taylor Swift. So let's go with that one. All right. So we have Ramones. 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 Yeah. The 1975 store demo. Sire. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry that's okay. It's okay. Um, so yeah, I picked up the Ramones. I'm a huge Ramones fan. Now the Ramones are, they're like the godfathers of like punk rock. They were like really kind of the first ones cool. to really like, um, and they came out in the mid 70s. So, and they were from Forest Hills, Queens, New York. 
And um, I seen them live in concert one time. I got to see them once uh, live. So then I was at City Gardens in uh, Trenton, New Jersey. That's a legendary uh, kind of a punk rock club. So I got to see them back then in the 90s. So, um, so that was cool. I'm glad I really got to see them. I, I've always liked them since I, I was in high school. And uh, this is the uh, yeah 1975 Sire demos. They were they were signed to Sire Records, and this is the demos that got them signed. And this is uh, the first album came out in 1976. So so yeah, I wanted to definitely pick this one up. This is cool. I, I believe I believe these demos were on the uh, the box set of the first album, but they weren't on vinyl. So now they're releasing them on vinyl. So uh, this is cool to have. So Ramones right there. You got a shot of it there. Here's the back there. All right, Kayla, next one. Okay, next up we have The Doors. The Doors, and this is uh, this is another live show. Now, The Doors always release something on Record Store Day. They're kind of a staple for it. This is uh, September 20, 1968, Stockholm. Uh, it's actually the first official release of this. So this is a, uh, uh, I believe, a three LP set. Uh, give you a glimpse of the front there. It's got a very big side <laughs> well, yeah, they were in the late 60s, so, um, and then Jim Morrison, who was the lead singer, he died in 1971, wow. so it's a long time ago, even before I was born, he died, so, but growing up, uh, my older brother, Paul, was a huge Doors fan, so he always had a lot of their albums, and I became a fan when I was a kid, so, I was, I normally pick up a lot of the Doors stuff for Record Store Day, they usually put out a pretty good product, so, that's the Doors, who we got next? Next, we have Finn Lizzy. Live and Dangerous at Hammersmith, 16 November 1976. There you go. Thin Lizzy, one of uh, one of the many bands I love as well. And uh, this, now this particular one, this live show was included on the Live and Dangerous box set, the expanded box set. Uh, but I was only on CD, I believe. So this is the first time it's making an appearance on vinyl. This is one of the shows that's included on that expanded uh, box set. Um, I can't wait to dig into this one. I'm a huge uh, Lizzie fan, and uh, I think they're the greatest export from Ireland. Phil Lynott and Company, 1976. This is really primed in Lizzie, uh, and from what I've been, the reviews I've been hearing, I don't have the expanded Live and Dangerous. I need to get that too, but um, this is cool. So Live and Dangerous is one of the best live albums, and, and I heard this one's a real scorcher, so... All right, last but not least, and, and, and before we get to this one, Kayla, I finally fired up the sign behind us. So what we got here, the, the big kiss sign. So. Oh, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is the first time I'm lighting up this kiss sign, so I wanted to get this on video too. So what's the last thing we got here in honor of the kiss sign? All right, so, very kind of heavy, <laughs> but we have this really cool um, kiss album. Eric Carr, a.k.a. Fox. It's really Eric Carr album. It's songs that he wrote. So it's not really a Kiss Kiss album, but obviously Eric Carr was a part yeah. of Kiss. And then, uh, Kayla, if you want to run your hand along his face there, mm -hmm. run your hand along his face. Look at that. His eyes light up. Isn't Isn't that, that, cool? that is really cool. Okay. Yeah, it's a now, really cool. What I've heard, he died from cancer. He died from cancer in 1991. Oh, he died the same day as Freddie Mercury. From Queen. Uh, rest in peace to yeah. So Eric Carr, he was the uh, the Fox, very beloved member of Kiss. I love Eric. Very cute. <laughs> My daughter's been getting, Kayla's been getting into Kiss a lot, and yep. she really loves. She likes Eric Carr. Yeah. She likes the Fox makeup. There you go. The, My favorite. There you go. The eyes just went off. And the uh, your favorite's Gene, yeah, huh? Because my favorite characters ever are mostly evil characters. It's hopefully the cutesy characters and you got the evil characters. She likes the villains. The villains are the best. <laughs> and hopefully someone in the comments will agree with me. So yeah, this is a Eric Carr. This is a um a two uh, LP set. They kind of made it a, a box set here. And yeah, and the eyes glow when you run your hand across, and then when you run it again, it goes off. Kind of a really cool Also, cool I know this is off topic, but you know, since I'm talking about cancer, um, apparently, well, not apparently, but um, animated, and, um, it's all on YouTube, it's not, it's 
like a show on YouTube, just made from YouTube. So if anybody out there is like likes animation, go check it out. But just to let you know, it's British, but it's, <laughs> it's not like, heavy British. Well, it kind of is. Um, this is one of the many things we're going to be talking about, like the knowledge nerds, yeah. you know, coming in the coming weeks. We're gonna we're gonna give each other homework assignments too, but that'll be like for next week. We'll we'll come up with something. Like what I want to do, ideas is I want to give you like a band or an album, and you got to listen to it during the week, and then the next week you'll review it and tell me what you thought of it. And you could do the same for me, or like some sort of animated series or anything like you want to you we want to give each other like homework assignments All right. okay so that's going to be cool we're, we're just going to nerd out on like video games and music yeah. and all sorts of topics but i want to make the inaugural uh episode about record store maybe day one day if dad gets a webcam we might react to something on youtube yeah, maybe maybe we'll see we'll see um so anyway going back to this eric horn one so it's, ju it's just a bunch of uh tracks that he wrote and i guess some covers on here and um, for the, it's really for the major Kiss fan. I am a Kiss fan. I am and, also a Kiss fan. Yeah, and uh, she got to see Kiss with me uh, twice, actually, yeah. which was really cool. But I feel bad because I wasn't really into them when he's on. Now I'm <laughs> so when I took her, she wasn't really that into them, but now that they're over, it's like yeah. now she's been deep diving into them. And yeah, I've like Scooby-Doo Kiss. <laughs> I just rock and roll mystery Hey, well that's cool though. I mean, better late than never, you know. And but you can still say that you saw them twice yeah. in concert. I remember the first time I took her, and when Jean spit the blood, she was like, "Whoa, what's going on?" She got scared. Yeah. <laughs> but she enjoyed it. It was really cool. I mean, they. I mean, what's not to love? They put on a spectacle of a stage show and everything. So, but anyway, that's our first. Uh, this is our first episode of Knowledge Nerds. Mm -hmm. Kayla, thank you for joining me. No problem. And uh, it's gonna be. Here. It's gonna be a weekly occurrence show. So. Take care, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.